So we just released the biggest redesign of Arc Studio yet and I want to give you a quick tour of what's new. So this is the old Arc Studio, and this here is the new one. And the first thing that's gonna stick out is the top bar that we added up here. And this made room for two really big improvements and also some small tweaks. So the first thing we changed is how you navigate between plot board and your script. So in the past, going to the plot board happened through this button and then going back happened through this one. And these were in two different spots and also this X was kind of nondescript People didn't know, is this gonna close the app? Is it gonna close the board or my script? And so we replaced this with these two buttons here, going to the plot board and back. This is much more intuitive. The second small intuitive change we made is the desk button. So in the past, you moved back to the script overview here. And now we move this up here. It's a small tweak, but it's a more natural place to look for the back button. Another small tweak is moving the document settings out of the sidebar into the top bar. So export and document settings used to live here. And now they live up here in the top bar where they also open. And also we added this share button, which is a shortcut to invite collaborators and co-writers. We also added the script title up here in the top bar. So in the past, once you scrolled past the title page, you didn't know which script you were in, so now this is always visible from the top bar. So now for the bigger features, and the first one is this button up here, which when you click it, hides all the toolbars and sidebars and lets you fully focus on your script. And this is huge to avoid any distractions, but the cool thing is that even if everything is hidden, you can still access the tools just by moving over the mouse. So the sidebar, the top bar, or the formatting bar, they're all accessible. You just have to move your mouse there and they appear. And then once you're done, you can get back to writing and they disappear again. You can also toggle the toolbars with Command D or Control D on Windows or this button up here. The second big improvement is around change marks. So in the past, this was all over the place and we consolidated it in this menu up here in the top bar. And when you click this, you can choose where you want to start tracking, either from the current version or an earlier draft. And it instantly highlights all the changes that happened since that draft. And it also shows you what's happening up here in the toolbar. We also added options to either track by offer color. So each offer has a color and you see who did what or by revision. You can also navigate your changes with the arrows up here, which is great if you have a big document under edit to jump to the last section that you were working in and continue. We hope you love these changes. Let us know what you think and happy writing.